Welcome to FTD News in History, where we give you the most bizarre stories in history. If you're here, it's because you were sucked into the Netflix world of the fictional show Orange is the New Black. People are always trying to desexualize women my age, and I just won't allow it. Good for you. Or is it fictional? One of my guilty pleasures is getting lost in the world of television series, and Orange is the New Black is definitely one of them. Now, I'm not the type to just watch one episode at a time. I binge watch. It's just so good. But did you know that it's based on the real life of the main character, Piper? Seriously? Who's your favorite character from Orange is the New Black? Comment down below and let me know. Mine is Lolly. I love Lolly. She reminds me so much of Ellen DeGeneres, just the way she looks and her sense of humor. Just so you know guys, this video, spoiler alert, spoiler alert, if you're not caught up on all episodes of Orange is the New Black, I do talk about some things in here up to maybe mid second to third season, so if you haven't watched that, Maybe don't watch this video, but give us a thumbs up anyway. Piper Kerman, or Piper Chapman as we know her, is a real person and she actually went to jail for 13 months. In 2010, Piper Kerman, a wealthy woman from Boston, wrote a book by the same name as the show about her experiences behind bars after serving 13 of a 15 month prison sentence for drug trafficking and money laundering. What's real and what's not though? Well, just like our Piper Chapman and Alex Voss, Piper Kerman did fall in love with a woman who was involved in an international drug ring. We shouldn't be on the floor. There might still be bed bugs. Then we'll both get them. So long as we're in it together. Kathleen Cleary Walters, but in the book, her name is Nora, she made a fortune working in that international drug ring. According to her memoir, Piper smuggled money from Chicago to Brussels during her relationship with Nora and managed to get away with it for 10 years. At first, she only tagged along with Nora on some trips abroad, but eventually agreed to transport a suitcase loaded with illegal cash to Europe. Once she returned home to the States, she decided to start a new life, so she moved to San Francisco where she eventually became a producer, and then she moved to New York in 1998. But in 1998, her past caught up with her. Two customs agents visited her at her New York apartment to inform her that she had been indicted on drug conspiracy and money laundering charged by Chicago court. Her old girlfriend had been arrested and had given the names of her associates to the authorities. When it comes to Alex Voss though, or Nora, or real name Catherine, she says her and Piper did enjoy a short lived romance, but they never had sex in prison. She said, We weren't girlfriends, we were friends with benefits. I was not the older, sexy, glamorous lesbian who snatched her from her pristine college cradle. They were only in the same prison facility for five weeks back in 2005. In the first season of Orange is the New Black, it shows Piper and Alex hashing out their issues and then they continue their romance before Alex is transferred. But in real life, they didn't meet again until they were both in a high security facility in Chicago. That's where Piper confronted Catherine. They were both bunked in a six woman cell and were forced to just deal with each other. Catherine said if Piper never Never met her, then no, she wouldn't have gone to prison. But it wasn't her fault that Piper chose to get involved in the smuggling. Alex, are you kidding me? Get out! Alex. Get out! No way. Piper also said in an interview in 2010 that although she long harbored resentment toward Nora during her time in prison, she accepted full responsibility for the drug ring days and dubbed it a reckless and selfish time in her life. Now that we know a little bit about the real Piper and the real Alex Voss, who else is real? Remember in season 1, Jason Biggs played Piper's devoted fiance Larry? Well, that's real too. The real Piper's fiance is also named Larry Smith. And while in the show, Larry wrote a column in a newspaper about her called One Sentence to prisoners, the real Larry wrote a piece called A Life to Live, This Side of the Bars. And that was when the real Piper was sent to prison. In the show, Piper was so angry with Larry about writing this column, but in real life, the real Piper said it was the best Christmas gift she could have ever received. I'm sorry, I... Bye, Piper. No. Although Larry in the show made his exit after season one, in real life, Piper and Larry did end up getting married and are still married. By the way, yes, she has had numerous lesbian relationships, but Larry was the only guy she considered a boyfriend. So Alex is real, Piper is real, and Larry is real. Who else is real? Sophia. Yep, Sophia's character was built around a transgender woman named Vanessa in the book, who slept in the cell next to Piper's. But Sophia's background in the show is all fiction. I want to look fierce. 
Beavis? <laughs> Beavis. Second one. Red is also real too. She was called Pop in her memoir, which is ironic because Red is more of a mother figure to some people in the show. Piper even dedicated her book to Pop. Sister Ingalls, the protester nun, is also a real character. Her name is Sister Ardith Platt. You know what this stands for? Vatican II. All the other characters in the show are completely fictional. So what else is not real? Well, Piper never went to the shoe and she never beat down a Pentatucky character and wondered if she was dead or not. She was also never allowed to actually leave for her grandmother's funeral, but her grandma did die while she was incarcerated. That's all for this episode of FTD News in History. If you want to see more episodes of true stories that movies were created from, check out the shocking truth about Hugh Glass or this creepy one of the true story of the Enfield Poltergeist. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and follow me on social media. The link is down below. I'll see you guys next time.